We are back inside the Jekyll Bates Studio Shop Garage, whatever you want to call it today. It is what it is. Once again, we've got outside noise. It's a beautiful morning. It's a little breezy, but the temperature is fantastic. I would love to have my roll up open, but that's not going to happen because I've got people across the street that are getting a new roof put on. So there's going to be it sounds like machine gun fire, but that's okay. Uh, it is what it is. You can't get rid of it, and I need to do this video for you guys. I've got a lot to talk about. First and foremost, I think I'm going to do now, if you guys catch the Facebook feed that I run, uh, I've got like three of them, but uh, on my main page, I did a quick sketch of this salmon, and I think I'm going to do a speed watercolor painting uh, video of this. And that'll that'll go later on this week. I'm actually gonna pull this out. Um, but this is gonna be going up to uh, Tina, and Michigan. And look at that big juicy succulent bass on the end of that jig. Mmm, good enough to eat. But not really. I don't eat them. I'm just putting this off to the side. I've got you guys on a tripod this morning. Anyways, so the reason that you guys are seeing this bass is because this is the cover of the Barlow's Tackle 2020. Um, I get a lot of catalogs from people that are here in the States, and you guys can get those too, whether you are a hobbyist at this or whether you are selling baits, custom painted baits full time like me. You can, you just, it never hurts to ask. You're not always going to get a catalog, but you can. Um, one of the things that I've been trying to do all year, but especially in the last couple of months, is really try and focus on the the companies that are selling more and more things from the US so like um, <clears throat> I mentioned the other day on my Facebook feed uh, I'm gonna be switching over to 100% Eagle Claw in my terminal tackle and in my hooks they do sell short shanks you can call them they're located and have been located in Denver Colorado since the 20s they are the number one recognized brand of hooks and terminal tackle in the United States. They teamed up a few decades ago with Wright and McGill, who if you know anything about the uh, the Elite Pros, you would be uh, hard pressed not to find their black and yellow Skeet Reese um, stuff from, uh, from, their, from their line of rods and they sell a lot of different stuff. So I like Eagle Claw. I'll leave you their link in the description below as well. But let's get into this. This is the Barlow's 2020. And one of the things that I kind of wanted to turn to, and I turned right to it, <clears throat> is that these guys sell blanks too. So you can see what their price each is. They run you a discount if there's five or if there's 50, if you're getting a ton of them. Shows you everything, the, the diver lure bodies, the shallow divers. Um, it's got everything from your S's to your your walleye type stuff and and your deep divers uh, just a, a good amount of stuff out there now some of them I've used some of them let's put it this way if you are a distributor in the United States you are not getting anything that's pressed here in the way of blanks in the United States none of that stuff none of it is pressed in the United States and that is the unfortunate truth I would love to see a company go in-house in the US I'd love to see that happen but so far even these guys um, and everybody that you see online they're all getting their stuff from overseas so I see a lot of I won't say misinformation it's not misinformation but there's a lot of miscommunication between the lure buyers and builders and sprayers um, that are just convinced that that United States companies deal in blanks that are from the US unfortunately that myth has been busted years ago um, there are differences in the people that sell you baits and I'm, I'm a pretty transparent person I do not um, I do not claim one over the other but I do tend to go towards the companies that vet their stuff so if they get a batch of, of lures in they tank test them they batch test them they make sure that they're not broken that the bills aren't jacked up that the eyelets aren't loose that they're tunable if it's a tunable you know function on the line tie so I, I tend to move to purchase stuff in the states from companies like that 
I'm not going to single anybody out in this video because there's just too much too much information. But um, you guys can see the links that I have in my description below of who I use and who I trust. Um, and it's been that way for the past five years and it's going to continue to be that way just because they take the time to really go through the stuff that they get from overseas. So that being said, you're like, well, why can't we just get it from overseas? And, and because, first of all, it's convenience. If you're a hobbyist, you're not necessarily going to be buying hundreds and hundreds of lures at a time or blanks. Um, number two, I would much rather have somebody that's vetted it that I trust and, and give the money to them so that they can feed their family in the United States. That's just the, that's me. That's what I would prefer to do. So... I do use as many as I can. I also get stuff from overseas as well. Um, and this is one of the venues that I use. I also use other companies as well. So <clears throat> moving on from that, my package was delivered. Lovely. Um, that means it's outside right now. So th this, is, this is what they got going on. They also have skins. They've got helping hands. They've got a gambit of things. Um, even the art tools textures you can get those off of Barlow's as well so that's enough time talking about Barlow's um, this is lure parts online it is also the anglers workshop same type of principle same type of stuff I generally tend to go through their 3d eyes I like their 3d eyes that's where I get all the cool glow ones like the neon yellows and the bright bright greens that you guys see me use on occasion here um, also also a really good now this is the 2019 I've got my 2020 buried somewhere but this catalog comes free you can ask them for that you can ask them whenever you guys get any kind of merchandise it never hurts to ask some might charge a nominal fee for shipping it to you um, and then this this is Blick it's uh, the website's name is dickblick.com. This is the 2020. It's a master catalog. But if you look at it, let's see if we can get to our somewhere in here. Let's see if we can find it. Okay. So if you look, they have an entire section, very similar to what you just saw on the Barlow's, but everything that you could possibly need from frisket material to stenciling to the actual paints themselves, a full line of cleaners, all the colors from all of the companies. They have Badger, they have Jacquard, they have Createx, they have the Wicked line, they have Golden, they have Spectratex, um, they also sell airbrushes and compressors and the whole like. So this is Blick. Art Education is the big one that comes once a year. It's huge. It's a big, 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 let's see if we can, there we go. It's like a, it's like a novel. Um, but it's great for artist supplies. So there is that. Um, boy, that's going to take a lot of editing to get you guys this video today. But I thought it was important. Uh, and I will link all of those places below in the description. On to the next quick tip and trick. So I told you when I was putting the eyes on this that all I had was the silver. But you can use just a little tiny bit sprayed very low pressure. Um, I, I used a, a transparent bright yellow on these eyes to get them golden. And this is that Haplochromus Granti that's going up to Van. I have three coats of sealer on here. And yes, I did do, I don't know if you can see it in the, but I did do the bill as well. And you can see that on, on this, we taped everything off. So that is a clean bill. There's no line that goes across it. I am a stickler for that. Um, I like to turn over a professional bait. You guys should be sticklers for it as well. This is how the fins turned out. That little bit of white paint with the black lines really does justice to this. So super, super happy with the way these baits turned out. And I wanted to give you guys, so a few of us trade around baits and I just, I showed you the stuff from TJ Hatfield in one of my last ones and I still have them. I need to build shadow boxes. So I've got stuff from him. I've gotten some cool stuff from Pumpkin Bait Company. Um, 
just just some cool stuff all the way around. So this came from Shane Johnson from uh, from Chaos Tackle. This is a kick-ass little deal, little craw deal that I got from him from Chaos. Good splatter job on it. I love it a lot. And he sent me a blank to paint him something in return. So game on, Shane. Good deal from Chaos Tackle. Check them out. They are located somewhere in Utah, I think. Yep, in Utah. So very cool. Excited to get that in the mail. Thank you so, so, so much for the gift. And I'm not going to shelf this one, my friend. I'm going to throw it. I'm excited. Um, I've done some of the backstabbers that have the feathered treble on the back, but I haven't done a feathered treble on the front. So I'm excited to see how this is going to move in the water. That is pretty much all the news that's fit to print for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I will see you on the next one. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.